Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how I set up my POF's computers. Just sort of like a business. I have that POS computer out there and this POS computer. They're the same brand but they're totally different models and made in totally different years. If you're wondering why this is not Windows 7, the latest I could the the latest of operating systems I could install on this computer is Windows XP. So this is the home edition kind. I try to install on Windows 7. It complains about BIOS, my BIOS on this computer. But I just stick with Windows XP Home Edition. But I got internet out here in my closet. This is my closet right here. My little office. I had to run cable all the way across this closet, through this carpet, out to the door, all the way out here behind my dresser until I got here. And it hooks up to the switch. I don't know if you can see it, but you only get my flashlight. Get my Duracell flashlight. Yeah, sorry, the camera's not focusing. There we go. That's my switch I got. I got it for a few bucks at Goodwill. As you probably noticed the Goodwill tag there. But this computer here, I kind of made it into a server. Because this has a wireless antenna for the wireless router. So this connects wirelessly. But these computers here, I want to connect through Ethernet. So I hooked that switch up and got the internet shared from here. So. First of all, what I did is, I just went to my Ethernet right there. I went under Properties. Now I let it load. I went under this one. Internet Protocol Version 4. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. Something like that. And I type in this, this is the IP address. This is Windows 8.1. This is all you do. You type in 192, 168, 137, and 1. The subnet mask always is this. But you don't do anything with DNS servers. But here, you type in IP config slash all. Oh. And then here, all this comes up. This is your DNS servers. But do not copy these. Copy this off your computer. But here, and you're, after you're done with all this, you're set. But make sure that your internet is shared. So you would go here. Let me close all this for you. So we go here. I'll go under change adapter settings. Sharing. And make sure that you check this off. Allow other networks to connect through this computer's internet connection. And if this is checked off, do not check it. And that's all you do here. And you can share printers, you'll have you have, you have all your sharing settings on, but then here, you go to your local area connection, go to your properties, and you do the same thing like you did with Windows 8.1, like this computer, you do the same thing as this computer, except you type in a little more here. Go to the version 4, Internet Particle version 4. You type in 192, 168, 137, and 2. The subnet mask is always the same, except this time down here. You do, you put 1, because that's where the internet's coming from, Is that's the, where the main connection's coming from. And then you type in your DNS servers, like I do have right here. But, this will be two, but no when you 
But note, when you have like multiple computers on, you have to have, this two will become a three and so on and so forth. The numbers will go up every time. So this computer's already been done like that. So, and now I go out here to my Windows XP POS computer. Go to properties. Then you would go here, inner particle TCP IP. You go there. You go to properties. And see, it's a three right here instead of a two. That's if you hook up a switch so you don't get IP address conflicts. The Cellnet mask is always the same. This is always the same. Where the main internet source is coming from. Same DNS server. Just type that in. Now, this is all that you do. And to prove to you that it works, I'm gonna go to Firefox. And see, I got internet out here. This all this is not a lie. So see I got internet. And I'll show you it here too. I'll go to Firefox here too. And if you're wondering why my Firefox is different, it's because I put an old version on these computers. See, it works. Because all the connections are coming off this computer down here. Whenever you upgrade your com old computers to Windows 7, I prefer put Firefox 3.6. Because it's pretty fast on old computers. The latest version will be slow. Pretty bad. So. And if you want to share a printer, the printer sharing will work. So, here, let me put this down for a second. So, I open control panel up. It's just loading. Here, let me just go to control panel from up here. You go to your control panel. Go to the hardware and sound. Devices and printers. And that's my printer right there, but here. Go to printer properties. And see, go. And when this comes up, it'll be on the general tab. Go to your sharing tab. And make sure to share, the, share this printer. Then you can name it whatever you want. And just leave these two checked. Just so, because that's how you get the best performance. And you do not need the printer CD for this at all. It'll, it'll get the drivers off your main computer to your other computers that are shared on shared internet connection. You'll be able to get network sharing in there. It'll work. It'll work like a regular old computer. But if you ever have problems like like with Windows 7 here, sometimes I get local area connection problems. If it ever has that triangle at the exclamation point, I would just restart the main computer and then restart the computer that has Windows 7 on it. But Windows XP never gets the problems. Windows XP works just fine. It never has any problems. Sometimes it might say, looking up website depending on your browser but it won't give you any messages unless there's IP address conflicts but this is how I set up my POS computers because I don't want to take too much of the network this is a good way to save save room for save IP address for any other device such as iPads because we have IP address conflicts, but probably because I have too many computers here. Because I now I got this computer right there, this gateway computer. I have a laptop up there. All kinds of computers, and this computer I fixed. That had a bad hard drive. But now, 
this will work. And if you have a wireless network too, you'll be able to get network sharing on your other computer. So you can set it to how many users you want on your flash drive. Because that's what I do all the time. You view it on other computers. But I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe to me and have a wonderful Earth Day.